Welcome back to College Conversations. I'm Dr. Fedor and I help you navigate college. In this video, I'm going to explain what a college credit system is based on and how you can use your time more efficiently. Please remember to hit subscribe and share this video with other students who might also find it helpful. A credit is a unit of measurement that higher education has agreed upon so that the work required to earn credits remains consistent among colleges. For example, a three credit course should require the students to spend three hours of time in a classroom plus nine hours of outside the classroom work per one hour of classroom instruction. So the three hours of outside classroom work can be assigned reading, studying for exams, assignments, group projects work, or it could be lab work. The point of having a credit system is so that a three credit course at one institution is equal, roughly equal to the same amount of work and effort at another institution. So that way students can transfer credits and degrees don't get watered down in the process. Theoretically, if you spend three hours a week in a class plus nine hours a week doing outside work, outside of the classroom work, that equals 12 hours a week per class. Multiply that 12 hours by five classes and that equals 60 hours a week, which is why being a full-time college student is technically a full-time job. This is something to think about and for those of you who are trying to work part-time or trying to work full-time and you're trying to figure out how you're going to fit everything in, um, some of the factors that you want to consider are the courses that you're planning on taking. And for some of you, it may take you the full nine hours to do the outside of the classroom work. For others, it might not take you the full nine hours. So some of the factors to consider um, how accessible is the lab where you need to go to do some of the outside classroom work? Um, how accessible are the students in your group project going to be when you need to collaborate um, all the schedules together to do the group project work? How familiar are you with the material? If it's a class where you've taken some of the material before, there's an overlap with the material. It's some of it you're familiar with. It might not take you the full nine hours of outside the classroom time to do the reading and do the assignments because you're, you're more familiar with it versus taking a class that you're totally unfamiliar with for the first time, like physics or something. And then you're thinking, no, I really am going to need the full nine hours. So when you're planning your courses, try to balance out the ones that you feel will take you the full nine hours or more. Um, with courses that you feel like, no, I'm not going to need all the outside classroom time to complete the work. Ask other students who have taken that class before, how much time did you spend? Um, ask the instructor, how much time does a typical student in your class spend on the outside of the classroom work? Because that is a fair question. And in some cases, they'll be able to give you the syllabus from the previous semester um, or, or last year and then say, you can read it and say, well, wait a minute, you know, all of these topics are unfamiliar to me. I am gonna need to spend the full nine hours outside the class reading and, and, um, and figuring it out or um, some of the topics or half the topics I've already had before in another course. Um, and then it won't take you the, the full time. So. All of that is, that's a fair question to ask. Um, ask yourself, how am I going to be balancing this? Um, in your main goal is to balance the courses where I think it will take me the full nine hours outside of class with some classes where, you know, you think they're going to be easier and they won't take you the full nine hours outside of class. So please leave a comment below and let me know how that worked out for you. Please remember to hit subscribe and share this video if you find it useful. And remember to keep learning.